Now, from your hyper-local weather source, this is your Norcast Weather Update. Brought to you by Square Theatres, with locations in Northfield, Ventnor, and Stone Harbor. Experience movie watching like never before as you recline on comfortable lounge chairs and drift into another world. Get your tickets today by visiting squaretheaters.com. Happy Friday, everyone. We are tracking those storms rolling across our area right now. Definitely a lot of thunder and lightning on the way. Some stronger wind gusts are going to pick up over the next couple of hours as well. But the one good thing we have on our side, that sea breeze. As some of those storms run into the sea breeze that kind of sets up typically for this time of year, it'll be an obstacle for those storms to deal with. So maybe the closer you are to the coast, the less activity you're going to be seeing. The good thing is everything should be done and over with by about 11 o'clock midnight and then the rest of our evening looks very quiet tomorrow you're waking up to beautiful clear skies lots of sunshine we see nice high pressure move in for the rest of the weekend and even the start of the work week and we'll be kicking off a very quiet stretch of weather hot and dry but very quiet overall so here's a look again overnight tonight those storms hopefully done by midnight and then as we head towards morning all the clouds clear out and you'll be seeing a lot of sunshine on the way for tomorrow the next two days are going to be a very nice treat because it'll be warm Warm, but not too hot and I promise you by next week we're gonna be very very hot out there we're gonna be in the mid to low 80s for tomorrow and Sunday and then as soon as we kick off the new week we're gonna see those temperatures very quickly pick up into the 90s not only that we're also gonna be a lot more humid tomorrow and Sunday look very comfortable those dew points just briefly drop down into the 50s for the weekend before they jack back up into the 60s by the start of the week so not only will we be in the 90s but then on top of that you stack dew points in the 60s and we will be feeling like the upper 90s if not triple digit by mid to later on this week by Wednesday we'll be feeling like 92 degrees Thursday 101 could be feeling like 104 by Friday and Saturday so a lot of intense heat is on the way for next week we're not seeing much in the way of rain though with the high pressure moving in for the weekend and the start of the week and then just the hot and humid conditions we're not going to be seeing much way much in the way of moisture or shower chances which is really not good because we are very dry we could be dealing with moderate drought conditions by next week because of the lack of rain and the intense heat things are going to just continue to dry out across our area Tomorrow looks beautiful though, mid 80s, lots of sunshine out there. Even down the shore, you'll be getting into the upper 70s, if not 80 degrees for your Saturday afternoon. Sunday, Monday also look beautiful. I imagine towards the end of next week, a lot of people will be heading down towards the coast to escape the intense heat that will be building in. But even down the shore, those temperatures are going to be closing in on 90 possibly by the end of the work week. By Friday, you could be feeling like 91 degrees. Those storms are going to continue to roll across our area for the next few hours. Uh, some lightning, thunder, probably some stronger wind gust on the way as well. So just kind of hunker down. But after that, we're in for a very hot but nice stretch of weather for this weekend. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll check back in with you later on tonight with your bedtime forecast.